Without a doubt, this movie will shock you. A lot of people, including the CEO of Ripple, think that XRP could hit $10,000 this summer. What the heck is going on here? In as long as I can remember, no other cryptocurrency has grown as much as this one. However, hundreds of thousands of people think it is doable. But why is there so much excitement? Is it really possible? You'll be sorry you missed that show. Let's get right to the point without any more nonsense. Nota bene. There are a lot of problems with the present global banking and financial system that cost both banks and their customers money. The machinery that supports traditional banking systems is 50 years old and is slow, expensive, and not very useful. A lot of the time, smaller banks have to pay bigger banks like Chase, HSBC, and Citibank to use their payment networks. This makes things more expensive and takes longer for customers. The system is hard to understand and uses old technology, which makes it hard for money to move quickly and easily across countries. Another big problem with standard banking is that it costs a lot to do business across borders. Any mid-tier bank can charge anywhere from $25 to $30 to handle a single cross-border exchange. Costs can sometimes go up to $200 or even $300 per transaction. Also, these transfers are not happening at the fastest possible speed. International payments can take a few days to clear, making people and companies wait anxiously for their money to arrive. Also, between 3 and 5% of foreign payments fail, which cost banks billions of dollars every year in fixing problems and reprocessing transactions, it's time for XRP, the digital asset that Ripple created to solve these problems. XRP is a bridge currency that makes it possible to send money quickly and cheaply across borders. The price of an XRP exchange drops to almost nothing in a matter of seconds. It is a good option for banks that want to simplify their cross-border payment processes and lower their business cost because of this. Ripple's technology does more than just make transactions quick and cheap. It makes things more clear and cuts down on the number of failed deals by a large amount. When banks use Ripple's platform, they can see the state of transactions in real time, which makes sure they are handled correctly and quickly. This was emphasized by Brad Garlinghouse, CEO of Ripple, when he talked about how Ripple's solution makes sure that a trade always goes through. To get people to trust the financial system, this amount of dependability is very important. Systems that were made in the 1970s are still used by most banks today. These old systems are not only slow, but they also cost a lot to keep up and make mistakes often. A lot of the time, smaller banks need bigger banks to connect to foreign payment networks. This makes transactions more expensive and difficult. This reliance on old technology makes it harder for banks to compete in the digital market, which is changing quickly. The technology used by Ripple is a big step up from the old methods that are currently in use. Ripple uses blockchain technology to make a safe, open, and quick tool for sending money across borders. This not only lowers the cost of transactions, but it also makes funds faster and more reliable. Also, Ripple solutions let smaller banks connect to foreign payment networks without having to go through bigger banks. This makes financial services more accessible to everyone and encourages more competition in the banking industry. Things get even more interesting from here on out. What XRP could do Ripple isn't just about fixing problems that already exist. It's about changing the way money works all around. Experts think that this new idea could make the price of XRP reach all-time highs. You have no idea how much this could hurt the world economy. Don't just think about this. It's the start of a financial change. You're about to learn something that will blow your mind and change the way you always think about money. Now, let's talk about the exciting idea that XRP could hit $10,000. At first, this may seem like a big claim. But when you think about how powerful Ripple's technology is, and how much people want easy cross-border payments, it seems more likely than you might think. This prediction is backed up by market research and the views of experts. Brad Garlinghouse, CEO of Ripple, is optimistic about XRP's long-term prospects. He said, XRP solves a molt problem with the world in banking. This is also how financial experts feel. They think that the value of XRP could go through the roof as more people use Ripple's technology and the rules become clearer. Financial and market experts have done in-depth studies that point to XRP's worth going up by a large amount. One of these studies says that XRP's price could reach all-time highs if it were to just get a small share of the global cross-border transfers market. Also, the fact that there are only 100 billion XRP tokens makes it even more likely that the price will grow very quickly. A lot of well-known cryptocurrency. Investors and leaders have also said good things about XRP, Ripple's relationships with big banks, its cutting-edge technology, and the chance that it will be widely used in the banking industry make them optimistic. Central banks and cryptocurrencies are becoming more and more interested in the issue, which makes things worse. Central banks all over the world are looking into the possible benefits of digital currencies. Some are even thinking about adding these currencies to their balance sheets. This change in opinion shows that digital assets are becoming more accepted in traditional financial groups. Things are getting even stranger. 
when the Swiss central bank decided to buy Bitcoin, it was a big step forward for the use of cryptocurrencies by regular banks. Even though Bitcoin is still the most famous cryptocurrency, this move has effects that go beyond BTC. It shows a bigger trend of central banks adding digital assets like XRP to their funds to make them more diverse. These changes are good for XRP's growth because they show that cryptocurrencies are becoming more accepted as real money. Since central banks are now accepting digital currencies, XRP should see more business investment and use. Let's not forget about the most important event of the year, though, before we get too excited about price increases. Ripple was in a legal fight with the SEC four years ago. There are now rumors going around in the crypto world that this long-running trial might be almost over. Get ready, because the result of this legal saga could send XRP to heights that have never been seen before. You're not ready for what's going to happen. Now might be the time for XRP to really take off, going all the way to $10,000 or more. So the ongoing court case between Ripple and the Securities and Exchange Commission has been the main topic of conversation in the cryptocurrency world. The SEC says that Ripple broke securities rules when it sold XRP tokens without first getting them registered as securities. On the other hand, Ripple says that XRP is not an investment but a digital currency, like Bitcoin and Ethereum. The CC case has had a big effect on the price and use of XRP. As soon as the SEC announced the case, the value of XRP dropped sharply because exchanges took it off their lists of supported tokens and stopped trading it so as not to draw attention from regulators. Also, the fact that some investors and institutions aren't sure what XRP's legal position is has stopped them from using the cryptocurrency which makes it less likely that it will be widely used. One of the main points of contention in the SEC case is that Ripple and Ethereum are treated differently by regulators, which is seen as unfair. Even though both projects used initial coin offerings to raise money for growth, the SEC has only sued Ripple. A lot of people in the crypto community say that this difference in handling shows that regulators aren't being fair or consistent. But this is where it gets interesting. There are rumors going around that the case could end this summer. Why? Due to the fact that Ripple is quickly forming new relationships. In their court case. With the SEC, this huge change could make all the difference. Get ready because what's about to happen could completely change the way we use cryptocurrencies. Get ready to be amazed by what this groundbreaking finding could mean for the future. The BRICS countries, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa are becoming more interested in XRP as an option to the US dollar. Some of the world's biggest emerging economies are in these countries, and they want to find ways to depend less on the US dollar in their banking systems. Because XRP can help make international transactions quick and cheap, it's a good choice. For BRICS countries that want to improve their economic ties and rely less on traditional banking systems. The agreement between Nadi Group and Ripple in Thailand is also a big step forward for the use of blockchain technology in Southeast Asia. A big name in fintech, Nadi Group, has joined Ripple's network to offer more money transfer services between Australia and the Philippines. Through this partnership, Ripple's on-demand liquidity service is used to make fast, low-cost payments across borders possible. Nadi Group mm. wants to make remittance services more efficient and affordable for its customers in Thailand and around the world by adding Ripple's technology to its current ecosystem. Nadi Group and Ripple's relationship in Thailand is good for both of them in many ways. For starters, it lets Nadi Group offer its customers faster and cheaper money transfer services in order to make it more competitive in the market. Second, Nadi Group can find new ways to make money and get more customers by using Ripple's technology. Furthermore, Ripple gains from more people using its network and services, which strengthens its place as the main provider of blockchain-based payment solutions in the area. And now the only question is, what do you think about that? Do you think XRP Ripple will go up? What do you think will happen? Please tell me in the comments would be interested to know. This video has now come to an end. Thanks for seeing it. Thank you for reading. If you liked it, 